The following events are real. This has happened on the morning of January 23rd, 2020. The names have been changed to protect the innocent, except for the name of the truck company, which is plastered on the side of the truck, and I cannot change it. Okay, so I wake up to the sound of a doorbell ringing, come up to see who is there, and it is an Estes truck driver. Now, I know what this truck is because we are expecting an Estes truck delivery. However, we're not expecting it at our house. It's supposed to go to the warehouse in Fontana where we have forklifts and loading docks and all sorts of things where we load and unload trucks all day. Now, we were dealing with a new supplier who had never sent us wood before, um, so it was not the truck, truck, truck company's fault, which is why I don't mind uh, leaving their name on here. Um, but So it's not their fault. It showed up. You might ask, but why didn't you just send it away? Well, that was my first thought. I was going to tell him, you know what? This needs to go to our warehouse in Fontana. I cannot take it at my house. But the problem is that I did not arrange the, the delivery, and he would have to take it back to his central distribution warehouse, even though they have a distribution warehouse in Fontana, he cannot take it to Fontana. He would have to take it all the way back into Los Angeles where they would have to reload it onto another truck, um, losing maybe two or three days in the process because I'm not technically the shipper. I didn't order the shipping. Um, and so I'd have to get permission from the person who did, which is my vendor. And my vendor would probably be charged up the yin yang for a redelivery when the fact is the truck's about 25 minutes away from the warehouse right now. Uh, but that would be too easy. So I agreed to unload the wood at my house. I do not have a forklift at my house. This is too much wood to be delivered at a house. However, the one thing we have in our favor is that this is polonia wood. And polonia wood is very light. So I said, you know what? I will go ahead and unload this. I will climb up into the truck. I do not have a forklift. So he's going to take it move it by pallet jack to the back of the truck. I am going to cut the bands and board by board unload it into my driveway, much to the dismay of my wife. So why am I doing this? Well, the reality is I need this material tomorrow. I have a customer that needs to see it and I was expecting it in the yard today. Since that isn't going to happen, if I sent him back and made the vendor pay for the reconsignment they would probably charge him some ridiculous amount, like $500. And I would not see the material probably till Tuesday of next week. That's assuming my supplier was cooperating with the trucking company. And basically just to avoid a complete nightmare with all parties involved, I agreed to hand unload. At a minimum, I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna get some good uh, video and I can put it up on YouTube and it'll kind of be funny. Who knows, maybe it'll even go viral. Has it gone viral yet? Ah, uh, whatever. But, you know, anyway, the thing that I did not realize is when I put my phone down to capture the action, unfortunately, the phone goes into sleep mode at about 4 minutes and 45 seconds, so you don't actually get to see me trudging in with the wood, but I will show you the end result here in a moment. Um, I assure you, I did go in and unload it with the help of the driver. The driver was pretty cool, so I got to give it to Estes. Um, they stepped up. He could have been, he could have just sat there and in the driver's seat and not helped he certainly had no obligation to help but uh, he did he helped unload the boards and because we are dealing with lightweight polonia it was no problem we were picking up large blocks of wood two or three at a time and the actual weight of this pallet which probably would have been about 1500 pounds if it was oak was maybe 500 pounds so taking in a few boards at a time was no problem at all Anyway, here is the end result. The wood is in my driveway. Um, I will figure out what to do with it and how to get it into Fontana tomorrow. Uh, my wife will probably kill me in the meantime. So what is my big takeaway from this? Always, always check the address on the bill of lading before your material shows up.